the Pro Double Dodger. It's deadly, it's versatile, and in terms of Dodgers, it's the best value on the trout and landlocked salmon market, bar none. Get your four Dodger set today at fishhuntshoot.com. All right, so uh, out here at Folsom, obviously, came out this morning really to do some R&D on some new gear. When I get this fish in, which I hope I do, it feels like a pretty good fish he's taking line. I'm hoping it's a king, that's what we came out for. But when you see what I caught him on, you're gonna be a little bit surprised. You know, Cal and I are always uh, kind of in the, in the lab trying out different things. And uh, today's offering is something totally different that you probably haven't seen um, anyone troll for trout very often. Um, let me get this fish in. This is a pretty heavy fish right now. All right, he's coming up. Jacob, can you grab the net? Grab the net out of the side of the seat over there. You can put that down. Okay. Try to keep this fish down. He's right under the surface. He still wants to pull quite a bit along. Net him, Jake, or do you want me to net him? I believe it's a rainbow, guys. You can net from the front going back, okay? No, the other way. Just in the front of the fish. I'm just going to scoop it. Just scoop it right under the net. Put the net in the water. Now scoop. Scoop. Scoop under. Scoop under. There you go. Flip. Oh, okay, right. Great net job, Jake. Look at that. Oh, and I think it is a little king. All right, grab the handy cam. All right, I got to get one downrigger up here, guys, because we're running a little bit shallow. So let me deal with the fish here in just a second. Okay. All right, so uh, the handy cam is over here. Nice. So like I said, we're using something a little bit unconventional today. Um, I'll pull the fish out in just a second. But you can see that uh, I've actually been playing with a, uh, I've actually been playing with an umbrella rig um, for the last couple weeks or so and trying to get it dialed in, uh, figure out what speed it works at, figure out what the right number of arms are. And um, I've had some success on it, but nothing consistent. But today I came out kind of determined to run the umbrella rig. So basically I have a forearm umbrella rig. On each arm is one little tiny spinner. And I found that the smaller spinners are much better because they have a lot less drag in the water. I was having problems with this thing being way too heavy and too much drag in the water. But uh, I think I finally got it dialed. It's been trolling really, really well today. Um, so run about a four foot liter, three or four foot liter back to a copper trigger spoon. And this is my second king I've caught here at Folsom on a trigger spoon in the last couple days, so the last few days. So um, I really believe in that copper. So it's not a big fish, not, not huge, but we'll definitely take it. We've been out here all morning. That is our first bite. And um, I'm glad to have him in the boat. And I'm really happy he came on that umbrella rig. So. Um, You'll see more of these soon. I'm gonna keep playing with this. Um, it's something we're gonna offer. They're pretty cool setup, and I see its versatility, um, especially in bait fish lakes like Folsom and Shasta. Just endless, endless possibilities here. Put this guy in the box and uh, see if we can hook up another and make some dinner out of it. All right, so I just put that little king in the box. Not a huge fish. If we could pair it up with another one, that'd be great. But uh, you know, Jacob and I have been out here pretty much all morning long. It's midday now, high sun, and that was our first bite of the day. But let me review really quick what that rig came on, because this is something we've been playing with quite a bit. You probably haven't seen it on camera yet because it wasn't quite ready, but um, it's a forearm umbrella rig. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got very small willows on each of the blades. Um, allows it to make a lot of noise and a lot of flash, but not super overpowering, and it doesn't have a lot of drag in the water. Um, the head on this is like a, a plastic epoxy. It's not a weight like a lot of the a lot of the umbrella rigs are, so it's really light. It doesn't have a lot of drag in the water. I've been running it on about a two and a half to three foot leader to a trigger spoon or some other spoon, trigger spoon today, 
Um, Copper is always the color at Folsom. You know, they love that out here. So I, I usually stick to that. But one thing I want to talk about really quick that's a little different also, aside from catching the fish on the umbrella rig, um, a lot of guys ask, hey, do you do custom colors? Can I can I decorate my, my trigger spoons or trigger spoon juniors and do something different to change the color on them? Absolutely. Um, you can tinker with them a million different ways. That fish that I just caught came on a copper trigger spoon that has a, one of our fish eyes on it and a little tiny bit of red reflective tape on the back. Um, I play with them a lot like this. This is something that I just used an X-Acto knife and a little piece of flash tape, um, stuck it on there. I really honestly don't know if it makes a huge difference or not. I would say about half the time that I'm fishing, I have one that's been customized with some flash tape on it. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they like them naked with nothing and sometimes they like them like the, the spoons to be tricked out a little bit. Don't really know if it matters, but um, you know, it's always something fun to play with. And uh, if you have time on your hands and you wanna make something a little different, something the fish haven't seen before, try putting a little tape or an eye or even nail polish, UV polish, that kind of stuff works great. You can customize your gear, um, especially if you fish the same location over and over again and you know that, that they like to dial in on something really specific in color. Don't be afraid to decorate your gear, trick it out a little bit, make it your own. It totally works. All right, and you'll be seeing more of this very soon. I am, um, I'm getting this guy dialed in. We're about ready to launch it, um, almost there. Stay tuned for that.